All right, everybody. Welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews. And today we've got the black curtain up. We've got the unboxing shirt on. And that can only mean one thing. Yep, it's new statue day again. And today we've got the Crow King from HMO, the latest in their Bounties of Bathos line. And quickly before we get into this, I want to give a big shout out and warm thank you very much to the people over at Canada Customs for seizing my delivery yet again and opening it up and making sure everything was okay just before it gets delivered. So thanks again, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, so once you open up the box, you're going to find inside a nice art print. You got the Crow King in action here, crushing some skulls. You get a booklet with a little um, backstory comic in the front here. Nicely illustrated here. Uh, so you get a little bit of backstory on this character because he is a original creation from HMO. And then at the back, you've got the assembly guide. So only 31 easy steps to assemble this guy. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the unboxing.
All right, everybody, there you have it. This is HMO's Crow King, an incredibly complex looking statue, as you can see. Uh, a little tricky to put together. Uh, the assembly guide is missing a few steps, so uh, keep these in mind. The two pieces that go on the sides of his legs here, they're a little tricky to slot in because you have to line up a few different parts to get them on. Um, I would put those on before the arms. Now that's not shown in the assembly guide. Um, so I already had the arms on. I was too lazy to take them off. Uh, you can still do it. it. Definitely would have been easier without the arms. So that's the first thing. The second thing is these uh, white canisters on his back. Uh, there's four of them, two big ones, two small ones. Uh, there's little slots for them there. That's where they go. Again, the assembly guide doesn't explicitly show you where to put them. And then finally, you get these little pieces here, the, about the size of a cornflake, these little metal plates, and where those go on each side of his ankle. Uh, one on each side of each foot there. You'll find a little spot to slot them in, and you just uh, slide them into place like that. And there's four of them, as I said. So, as I said, really complex looking piece. Uh, very, very cool. We're going to do a full review on this statue. We're going to take a little bit of time to do it because it's there's a lot here to look at. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing for now, and we'll talk to you guys soon.